Hey there, so today I am in the community of Daybreak in South Jordan, Utah, and I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the pros and cons of living right here in this community, and we're gonna hop into it right now. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your very first time here. This channel is literally everything you need to know about eating, working, playing, sleeping, and living in the Salt Lake City, Utah areas. If that is of interest to you, consider subscribing down below and hit the bell for notifications so that you are notified every time we drop a video. We hear from people like you all the time who are relocating or looking to make a move here to Utah and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about making a move in a week, in a month, even six months or a year from now, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email and it would be our pleasure to connect with you. So over the last couple of years, I've had a lot of clients from out of state that have continued to ask me, hey Mariah, I keep hearing about this community of Daybreak. I wanna know if this is gonna be a good fit for my family and I, and just kinda wanna get an idea of the lay of land and really just what this community has to offer because this is a really unique community. And as you'll see throughout this video, this community looks a lot different than many of the other communities here in Utah. So let's hop right into, I'm gonna go through some of the pros and cons of what people like about this place and then maybe some disadvantages or drawbacks that have actually, you know, have people have thought, you know what, this actually isn't the community I wanna live in or you know what, this actually really is the community I wanna live in. So first and foremost, number one, a lot of people love living here in this community. It's about a 22 mile community and people love living here simply because of the activities and the recreation that are here in Daybreak. There is no shortage, no lack of amenities that are here and that's a huge draw for people coming here. There are tons of open green space, open you know land, there are parks galore. It seems like most residents are able to walk out of their um, out of their front door and within five minutes they will be at a park or the community pool or the splash pads. So there is a lot in the way of activities here. Going along with that, there's a lot of community events that are also here in Daybreak. And community events in terms of, I mean, even you'll see people behind me of just, you know, biking, there's trails galore. Um, but what I was just gonna say is the community events, there are a lot of community events that are right here in Daybreak. The Depending on where you're at and what community you are in within Daybreak, there, because Daybreak is the master plan community that's in South Jordan, and then within this whole master plan community, there are different um, different communities within the community. So each one has different things to offer, different amenities to offer, um, but I know that is a huge draw, is simply the amenities coming out here people absolutely love it. Some of them also include like a clubhouse, a full-size gym with an indoor running, you know, running track inside. So no lack of amenities here in Daybreak. Going along with all those amenities, a disadvantage for some is simply the homeowners association that is associated with living here in the Daybreak community. Depending on where you live and what community you are in, also depends on the monthly homeowners associations. When you do buy into the community, there is usually a transfer fee, and depending on the community that you are living on, living in here in Daybreak will really depend on your homeowners association fees. Within this community, there are also 55 year, you know, 55 plus communities that are here. Some will pay a little bit more, some will pay a little bit less. Again, depending on what that community offers. Some of them have more pools and more splash pads and they have you know water passages that go through with little um, stand-up paddleboard areas and docks and all of that so again depending on the community that you are living in can you know 
the homeowners can be either a little bit more or a little bit less. So for some people, they do not want to live in a community with homeowners association fees. Um, others feel like that's a good thing. And then which kind of leads us right into our next pro for some. Some people love living in a community where there are community guidelines and there are community restrictions, design restrictions, all of those things that go along so that the community looks just like this. I'll be taking you on some tour of just, you know, different streets and stuff and you will notice that it looks very uniform. It's a very beautiful looking community. And for others, that is another big pro is just the beauty of the community, not only the amenities, but how uniform and well taken care of things look here in this community. And a big part of that is due to the homeowners association. Along with that homeowners association, there is something called the design review committee. And that design review committee is really in charge of a lot of, you know, the yes and the no of what you are allowed to, you know, have within your home, what color your house can be painted. If you're wanting to add a pool, if you're wanting to add an extra structure to your house, if you are wanting to plant certain trees, that design review committee, most of the things need to be approved by them before you can go ahead and um, go forward with that project. I know being from Southern California, myself, I, we lived, my husband and I lived down there for 15 years and we, our entire time that we lived there, we lived within communities that had homeowners associations and there are definitely pros and cons to both but I know our communities always looked very well taken care of. But when you wanted to, I know one of the homes that we had moved into, the landscaping had not been completed when we had moved in there. And so we needed to go to the design review committee and the homeowners association and say, hey, you know, here's our plan and you know, can you approve this? And it took a few weeks and it was approved and we were able to move forward. But that's also something to keep in mind living in this community is there are certain restrictions on what you can and cannot do with your home. Next, moving right along, another big pro here is simply the walkability. And I know I touched on this before, but you've got miles and miles of you know, streets and you've got miles and miles of just the sidewalks and for biking, for walking. And there are a lot of different community schools that are, you know, the neighborhood schools that are right here. You'll see the kids walk right out of their front door and right over to the local elementary schools, middle schools. So there is a lot just right here and the walkability to get to everything is super convenient. And something they've been planning here in this master plan community, they've got just right down the street, you know, they've got their big restaurants, they've got Costco, they've got a lot of the big department stores nearby too. They've got a cute little downtown and they're planning on making that even larger than it is already. So those are, again, some of the pros here the walkability, the downtown, everything looking a certain way and very beautiful. A big pro for many people living here in Daybreak is simply the accessibility to downtown Salt Lake, the accessibility to the Salt Lake International Airport, the accessibility to a lot of the surrounding communities. The, you know, Daybreak is on the west side of Salt Lake. Like I said, it's in South Jordan, but you've got a public transportation system, which is called the Tracks, and that will take you right into downtown Salt Lake. And there is a track station that is right out here, you know, right in Daybreak. So having that accessibility right to the downtown, you are about 25 minutes south of the Salt Lake International Airport. And like I said, you're about 25 minutes right outside of Salt Lake City. So the accessibility here in Daybreak is very, very nice. Now we touched on this one a little bit earlier, just the amenities and the activities. Touching on that again, here in Daybreak, there is no sort, no shortage of courts. If you are into basketball, there are basketball courts all over the place. There are tennis courts. There are pickleball courts. People here in Utah are crazy about pickleball and it is the fastest growing sport right now. And there are no shortage of courts here 
in daybreak. So if you are interested in, like I said, amenities and sports, they've got incredible clubhouses, they've got the pools, the splash pads, the courts. So here in daybreak, you will see a lot in the way of sports and recreation. Now this one can be a pro and a con for living here in the Daybreak community, and that is simply the lot size. Now, depending on which community you are in within Daybreak, some of the lots are gonna be larger, some of them are going to be smaller. Some of the homes you will see will look more like townhomes or row homes. They've got here in, um, you know, here in this Daybreak community, they've got single family homes, they've got townhomes, they've got a variety of different structures here but consider you know considering some of the other communities the daybreak homes and the lots the actual lot size is going to be smaller than in some of the surrounding communities but there are some lot sizes here in daybreak too that are a little bit larger but for the most part those lot sizes are going to be smaller and then another disadvantage for some is because of the way the streets and the communities are, the streets are a little bit smaller and a little bit more narrow. And most of the homes allow for, you know, most of them have a two car garage. So you can pull two cars in front, you know, in your garage and then two in your driveway. But you will see a lot of the streets will have cars on the street. So if one's coming down here, a lot of times, and there are cars parked along the other sides of the street, you'll either need to kind of pull over or wait a moment for one to come through while the other one goes. So the streets are smaller than some of the other communities, which for some is a, a disadvantage because a lot of streets here in Utah, they made them really large, especially like in downtown Salt Lake, you've got really wide streets. Here in Daybreak, they are smaller streets. And again, parking can be a little bit tricky if you have more than two cars or more than two drivers, figuring out parking spots can be a little bit tricky. Another big draw for people moving out here is the active adult communities that are here in Daybreak. I actually just recently talked to a family from out of state that are looking at relocating here to Utah because they want to be closer to grandchildren. And they're like, I actually think Daybreak is going to be the perfect fit for my husband and I because our grandkids live 10 minutes away. We want to be in a community where we can do a lot of things, but we can still be very close close to the grandkids and here in daybreak there are a lot of activities for those you know in those adult communities so that is another big pro here um, of living in daybreak another pro for some is just simply the green space in the open areas that are here in daybreak there are a lot like i said of community parks community trails there are lakes throughout the community that is a big draw so if you are thinking about making a move out here to utah and you want to find out a little bit more information about daybreak and you think this might be a good fit for you know you and your family feel free to give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email and we would love to help you in that process of you know finding out yeah you know what this might be a great fit for you know my family and i or you know what this is not going to be exactly the right fit but we're looking for something kind of close by so either way we help people like you all the time and it would be our pleasure to connect with you take care and have a great one bye